Hello and uh, welcome to part 12, final chapter of the um, bike build series. As, um, as you can see the bike is basically done here and uh, I didn't really want to do a long drawn out bike assembly um, video but anyways let's, uh, let's just take a closer look at it and see what the finished product is all about. Yeah, you know, really, I just, I, I wanted to just get the bike done so I could, I just really was chomping at the bit to go out and ride it since, you know, once I had it painted and it was just right there at the end, I just really just had to get it done. So, you know, I think it turned out really well. The lines look really clean on it. Um, put my knobby tires on there just to, because I wanted to take it off road a little bit, kind of test it out. Um, you know, the parts I had that I built it up with, you know, just some old Richie carbon bars and stem and stuff there that I had on one of my old bikes, kind of all just used stuff. Um, parts that I bought were the, I bought the these brake calipers off eBay, um, got them pretty cheap, I think they were like 40 bucks or something for the pair and um, the only really thing I had left to do uh, on the frame was just I drilled a hole and tapped it there to put the little cable guide there and um, uh, so yeah, the only other last little bit of repair-wise or build-wise, I just taped the bars and um, yeah. Uh, after that, I went out and you know shortly after this, I went out and took it for a little uh, loop by my house, a little uh, hit a few little you know just a 10-mile loop around the lake, and then there's a couple little turn-in parts for that are some rugged trails, gravel roads, and washboard dirt roads. I went out there and hammered it pretty good, but um, yeah, anyway, the took the bike up to the shop and checked the weight, and uh, you know, it's 21.6, .7, somewhere in there, so, you know, for a steel bike, that's definitely respectable. You know, we kind of tested it with some, a couple carbon bikes at the shop, and aluminum bikes, and it was actually slightly lighter, so can't complain about that. And yeah, you know, just taking her out on my first little shakedown run, enjoying the weather, and um, just pretty much uh, loving it there. All right, so one of the first things I went ahead and chose to go with a full um, cable housing, and I just zip tied to the frame. And one of the reasons I did that, you know, this was something I kind of contemplated over throughout the build, and um, you know, honestly, uh, the main reason I did it like this was just to keep it simple. You know, there was a few other things I wanted to do. You know, I wanted to manipulate the, uh, the top tube, you know, here. I wanted to ovalize that. And uh, same thing with the seat tube. Do a few other tricks to try to kind of enhance the ride quality. But, you know, I just, I didn't want to get overly fancy on this bike. I just wanted to get the frame complete my first frame build keep it simple and just see how the how it ended up there so um, yeah I may you know next time I may do a you know a brow, you know internally routed cable or you know if I it's gonna be dedicated mechanical I may do like a cable stop right in here and then just run a cable guide and then another stop there as we get closer to the brake but just a couple of different other ideas there So this is one other little minor issue. As you can see there's, you know, it's pretty close clearance wise. You know, if I really stand up and sprint on it, that, you know, that crank will actually hit the frame. And, you know, part of the reason this, uh, the tube kit that I got with this was from a, you know, it was designed for a 29er mountain bike. And, um, you know, there's one bend right here, and just the way I had it, you know, all marked up is it got to where the crank arms were, you know, it was just just a little tight, and, you know, I may, next thing I frame I do, I'll either um, get some S-bend stays or bend them myself or something, something along those lines. Um, you know, I was real happy with the little post mount setup there that I came up with, and, um, you know, it actually... Uh, um, you know, I don't know, came out semi-clean, and these the brakes work, you know, for just a cheapy, uh, for just a cheapy Shimano mechanical brake, these things work pretty freaking awesome, so definitely can't really complain about that. 
So I almost made a pretty serious error here. I thought I had plenty of room, you know, with the bottle cage mounts and, you know, come to find out that thing just, it's, I don't think I could get it safely, you know, any higher. So kind of lucked out there as far as I thought I measured it out, but, you know, just a millimeter or so lower and I would be kind of in trouble or had to do some grinding or whatever on this uh, front derailleur, so probably be a little more careful as far as measuring out where I want my water bottle bolt holes there. Alright, so some of the things that I, you know, it's kind of a few things that I would change about the bike, but what I like about the bike is that, um, man, it freaking rides pretty awesome. It definitely has a nice, smooth, um, you know, ride that a steel bike would typically has, and it definitely has that. It's, Somewhat lightweight, you know, it's, I weighed it and it's a little over, you know, it's, un, it's up 22 pounds, but, you know, 20, 21 and change with some, you know, it's got a few lightweight, you know, the bar stem, seat post, you know, a few things here and there are pretty light, but the wheels are pretty, you know, definitely not a lightweight wheel set, but, um, and, you know, main thing, size-wise, it's, it fits me like a glove, so, you know, it's basically accomplished the main goal of, getting a bike that I wanted to be sized the same as my um, my other fleet of bikes that I typically ride on and so forth so um, you know very happy about that very happy as far as the you know the straightness and all of that it came out really straight you know the wheel sits in there nice and straight doing the ride around no hands it's super stable so yeah I'm pretty pleased about that and so anyway this is going to conclude the bicycle frame build um if you watched the whole thing hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching um you might consider subscribing uh hit that subscribe button i'm gonna you know constantly be putting out videos and other welding projects and i do already have a couple other frames lined up that i'm sure i'll be doing some highlights on those builds as well so you know again thanks for watching